guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is lisa definitely make sure you subscribe today i am doing a fashion school q a i've been in fashion school for three months now and i constantly get questions about it so i thought why not do a q a share my experience up until now and just like answer some of your questions so a couple days ago i had you guys send in all the questions you had on instagram i kind of combined some of them and pick like how many did I pick? I think 12. Oh no, I have a total of 13 questions. Um, some of them I'm gonna have to like explain a lot of different things because they're kind of like multiple questions combined. But if you are interested in hearing about my fashion school experience as of right now for the first couple of months, um, then make sure to keep on watching. I zoomed you in a bit because I feel like that intro was kind of far away. Um, I'm just going to start with the questions and the first one is what school do you go to? I go to Emphi which is the Amsterdam Fashion Institute um, and yeah it's in Amsterdam in the Netherlands which is where I am from. Not from Amsterdam but I'm from the Netherlands. How much is your tuition? So I'm pretty sure my tuition is like 2000 something a year. It's really not bad like our school system is really really good our education system i have no idea what it's like for like other colleges and universities in my country because i've never really looked at it but for me it's like 2000 something a year um and i'm not like i did not get a loan or anything i'm just paying it out of my own pocket because it's just not that much and i'm paying like each month you pay like 100 something it's kind of the way that people do build up like i guess like school financial debt situation is from um loaning more money because there is oh my god there's a fucking spider i'm going to kill it ew okay i just dropped my candle on that <laughs> oh my god that was a huge spider so there is a like financial loan system i think you're able to get like maybe like 900 a month max or something um, which people also use obviously if they want to like move out and stuff which is how you build up that like financial debt but in general like tuition isn't that expensive so how many years are you studying for so for me it's gonna be four years and then I'll get my bachelor so I'm in my first year right now I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna do the full four years just because with my career and stuff on social media like it's just kind of like so much is happening especially this year like a lot of things happen that I wasn't expecting and if there is an opportunity that comes my way um, that I'll only be able to do if I drop out of school, then I will take that because I feel like right now with my career, I can get a lot further than if I finish the four years and then, you know, I have to start at the bottom again. I feel like I have a little bit of that privilege. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the full four years, but I do want to obviously do this first year. I want to get my... I don't know what you call this in English, but I'll put it on the screen, um, which basically is kind of some kind of like certificate that you finished that first year. And if I ever want to go back, I can always do that with that certificate. That makes sense. I just have to make sure I get all my 60 credits, which hopefully I will be able to do. So how do admissions work? Do you have to submit a portfolio of previous works? What are the requirements and portfolio advice? So first starting off, how admissions work with um emphy it's kind of like a selection so you send in a video i can't remember exactly how it was but i know i had to send in a video and then you can get invited to the selection day and then on the selection day you have to you're going to get an interview and you're going to get like an assignment there that you make um and from there they're gonna pick you or not um you have to you do not have to submit a portfolio um necessarily like it's not required but it is obviously like a good way to prepare yourself and be able to show them what you've done in the past especially if you have a background with fashion or any type of studies that will like i guess help you on your journey um so it's not required but it is nice to just be prepared and kind of have something to show and when it comes to portfolio advice i didn't have one i just made one um, I just made a portfolio and I put some stuff in there that I've made like digitally like I'm pretty good with Photoshop and stuff I've done that for like I don't know how many years I think I started when I was like nine um, so I just put some work in there and some things I've done on social media um, and I just kind of got creative with the layout and like designing it but that's not necessary you can literally just plop some photos in a book and call it your portfolio 
even if you don't bring anything, it's just important that you can really explain what your goals are and that you have like a realistic view of the school and whatever you're going to study um and yeah do you think starting fashion school now with everything going on is a good idea um i would say yes and no so like yes because i feel like it's not going to be as tough and you can kind of slowly dive into the way you, you have to work at fashion school and kind of like how they grade and just how everything works like it's a lot slower now because obviously most of our classes are online then also no because you're not going to get the full fashion school experience when it comes to like trips and stuff and just like the in-person classes like it's just so different um and so you're missing out on that but then in a way it's also nice because you get to kind of like slowly dive into the program and you can like first figure out how to kind of juggle like work and like social life and school and like whatever but you're also definitely going to miss out on a lot of like the fashion school experience which i'm bummed out about but i would say just start like i don't think you should wait because we're in a pandemic right now like i don't think that should be a reason to wait um and pretty sure our school is the only one that's allowed to like be open and like give in-person classes which is really nice we're still doing kind of like a hybrid so most of it is online and then once a week i go to school um but it's not it's only for a couple of hours so that is really nice but I, not every school does that i don't really know what other schools are allowed to do that in my country but yeah are you able to balance work school and life is it how you thought it would be and how do you plan and organize so in the beginning it was really hard for me to balance um work and school because i work full-time on social media even though i i am like an entrepreneur i work for myself i get to create my own schedules it was very hard to kind of balance it and figure out a way that it works. I feel like now that I'm a couple months in, I'm definitely kind of getting the hang of it and I know when um, I want to work and when I want to do school stuff. And I also know at first I would like go to school and then after school I would still do work at home, but I just realized I was way too tired for that. And now I just know that when I plan in my weeks, I don't plan in any work after school because I'm just like brain dead. It's actually not as hard as I thought it would be, but that's also because just classes aren't the same right now. Um, and also this year they changed the whole like first year program so it's not as tough on the students because they noticed that the years before like students would just be so like dead from the first year like it would just be so much um so in a way i also kind of got like a more like an easier program i guess um and how do i plan and organize i have been using google calendar which has been like my savior um i love just planning out my days by the hour works the best for me i'm naturally an organized person so i always make sure my stuff is like organized and on point i put all my homework in my notes and i have been um making my assignments either on my laptop in like photoshop or something or in good notes on my ipad that's also where i keep my process document which is kind of like a portfolio it's kind of like a mixture of a portfolio and like a journal so you put your process in there and then also the end product and kind of reflect and stuff like that part of our assessments and stuff um so yeah my my ipad pro have been has been my savior i use this for school and then i do some stuff on my laptop um and then google calendar has been really great so yeah did you know how to sew and draw before going what skills do you think are essential to have so i don't know how to sew i'm honestly not great at drawing i am better than i thought i was which i realized with some of the assignments that we did um but in general i don't think there's like an essential skill to have like whatever skill you still want to learn you can learn at fashion school like if you don't know how to sew that's fine sure you'll have an advantage if you do know and if you like kind of teach yourself before going but it's not mandatory like you can literally come there and just not know how to do any of that and learn it is kind of important to obviously have some kind of creativity whether that's digital or like on paper like drawing or whatever it is um but I think that's also just kind of like if you want to get in, like you do have to like show something. Um, and if it's not in a way of being super creative, like in making stuff, then it can also be like writing and stuff. Like um, it really depends what side you want to go on. Like if you want to do design, then obviously I would recommend kind of getting into it before applying or before starting because it'll just help you out a lot, especially because there's going to be a lot of students that have a design background and they're already gonna have like certain skills and it's just nice to kind of have the same skills or just like, you know what I mean? No skills are really essential, but I do recommend kind of um, 
getting into whatever side of fashion you want to go to get into whatever i can't talk what are your assignments like what do you, what do your current classes look like so for this first year we're not really specializing in anything yet we're kind of just learning a bit of everything and especially doing a lot of research on the fashion industry so we had a project um in the first six six weeks i think it was um which was called dear fashion and we basically had to um research a garment that you were able to pick yourself like we had to like go through our wardrobes and then pick a garment i picked a vintage dior saddlebag you have to just do a lot of different assignments that are based on research technical drawings kind of really getting into like how um how is fashion made like i guess that's like the main thing that we learned and then now we're doing a project that's more kind of about like what what does your like ideal fashion world look like? Like, what do you want to change? Um, I guess I find it hard to explain. So for my group, like this project, we're working in a group of four and we're currently looking at kind of like inclusivity and diversity or inclusion and diversity. Um, and we're like researching that and coming up with a prototype and a concept on how we can make a change or like make a difference whatever so that's kind of what we're doing right now it's still a lot of research and it's just kind of like getting to know the fashion industry um with kind of more like a realistic view and then for the second year you're actually going to kind of go your own way so this year is kind of just like learning a bit of everything and yeah i wouldn't really say this is the full fashion school experience yet because i'm not like i want to study management and i'm not really doing that yet so um, right now we just have like a bunch of different projects. I know, I think starting next year in January or something, we're going to have, um, labs, which is where we can actually like go to school and make something, which is exciting. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like right now, but it's not the full fashion school experience yet. Sorry, I'm cracking my knuckles. What's your dream job in terms of degree and plans after school? So I really, first off, I really want my own fashion brand and business clothing brand. I I still I know I don't want to study design but kind of my interest is kind of in a bit of everything like design branding and management I kind of love it all um so I'm not really sure what I'm even going to do yet and um my dream job would just like I still want to be an entrepreneur I want to be my own boss and I want to have a fashion brand including business kind of like a bit of everything um but besides that I also really want to work in like real estate and stuff so i kind of want to do a bit of everything but my main dream job is to have my own clothing brand so that's what i'm kind of working on right now and um plans after school would probably to pursue that like i said i don't know if i'm gonna finish the full four years but with whatever experience i do get from school i obviously want to put into my business and whenever i'm ready to start that i'm gonna do that do you think fashion school is useful for you as an influencer um because i'm more of like a fashion and lifestyle content creator with a little bit of beauty on the side it definitely does help um it helped my view on fashion a lot and it's like constantly changing my style is constantly changing and i just look at fashion differently now um and i feel like obviously the longer i'm in fashion school that's gonna develop more um so in ways it's definitely useful especially because most of my content especially on instagram is fashion so that does help i think what it's mostly useful just for me as a person because obviously as an influencer content creator my life is my job so like i'm constantly changing and like educating myself on fashion which influences my work so i guess it is <laughs> do you think it'll be hard to get a job after other than youtube i personally for me i don't think so and i think in general with fashion i don't think it would be hard because there are so many different jobs and like job positions and like titles that we don't even know about like there's it's endless and the fashion industry is so big that i think that anyone would be able to find a job and i think for me my plan is to um i'm not planning on being a content creator forever like i want to do it for as long as i can but i'm hoping that i can kind of make that shift from being an influencer to being just like a designer like not necessarily a designer but like having my own clothing brand so i kind of want to bring that audience over there so that that can grow and i can do my like social media on the side and not full-time anymore 
Um, and I think that with obviously you guys and like my followers and everything, I would be able to make that switch. Um, so I don't think it would be, be that hard. And I think that even if I decided to not have my own clothing brand and just work for a company with like different internships that I'll be doing and stuff, I think that will be fine. And I think eventually I will definitely find a job. But if I really look at what I want to do, then I think it wouldn't be that hard. Um, I mean, it, it'll be hard work, but it, I think I can make the switch if that makes sense. Okay, so the last question I'm going to answer is, does your school teach in English or do you write essays like that as a preference? So we have a Dutch and an international course. Um, I'm in the Dutch class um, or in one of the Dutch classes. So I'm doing the Dutch course and I my classes are in Dutch. Some of the lectures are in English because some people just don't speak Dutch. Um, and as for like, I started doing things in Dutch, but I realized I just prefer doing it in English because I feel like I can express myself more like I my vocabulary is just better in English for some reason so my process document is all in English um I did write an article and I wrote it in Dutch because I just felt like that was easier um so I kind of do a bit of both but most of the things that I do are in English um so that's just a preference and especially if you like my process document like i'm allowed to do it so i was like why not okay i think that's all the questions i'm going to answer obviously these are not all the questions that i got but i want to do another like update maybe three months from, from now so i have like my six month update or maybe at the end of the school year we'll have to see if i have enough to update you guys on but this is kind of like a general q a of how my first couple of months have been um, obviously what school I go to and stuff and then the next video I don't have to answer that and if you have any other questions you can leave them down below and whenever I do the next video I can look at them and answer them later or maybe I'll just reply to your comment <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe and follow me on my Instagram because I post on there every single day whether that's on my feed or in my story and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss out on any uploads thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video